Hi there, it's Hillary and welcome back to the Creative Faith YouTube channel. Today I have a mid-year happy planner flip through. So this is my day-to-day uh, -day to do list, events, uh, calendar, planner that I use and it is a mini dashboard happy planner. And so the dashboard means that the inside pages look like this. So it has spots for events on one side and to do lists and things on the other. And so this is my first year using a happy planner for my daily planner in 2019. I used a bullet journal and loved that. And then for 2020, I wanted something that already had the um, the weekly pages laid out just to kind of simplify and try something new and different. I love mixing things up and so that is why I picked this planner and I have really loved it so far. It's been different and fun and just opened me up to a whole new world of happy planner. <laughs> so I do have a, a setup video for how I set this all up for 2020 and so I'll link that video in the description box below and then I also have a whole playlist titled 2020 happy planners and so in there you'll find some various plan with me's from uh, throughout the whole year so far in this planner so this is what the cover looks like it is getting to be well loved <laughs> And so I haven't really been using these sticky notes that much, but it is nice to have them here if I want. And this is a really fun page that I created full of cute pictures of my family and inspiring little things um, to remember. So that's cool. And then I have this little divider and I was kind of going to use this as like a master to-do list. This is something I saw Stephanie Fleming of the Happy Planner do, but um, I know I just haven't used it as much as I thought I would. YouTube ideas and so then this is some of some personal information <laughs> and then this is kind of the official title page which I didn't really use the year at a glance this is another page that I don't look at very often this I was using to track my hours that I would sleep each night and I just haven't really used it um, very much I started off really strong and then I don't know I just haven't used it very much this is a little note from my friend Sarah from Creating with Sarah. Um, she gifted me these beautiful purple metal discs for me to use with this. So this planner originally came on mini discs and I knew that it was going to get chunky. And so I went to Joann's and I didn't find any discs in the whole store, and which is kind of weird. But my friend Sarah said she had some extras that she would send me. And so I think the purple discs look super pretty on this planner. So anyways, we'll still see how well I do for the rest of the year um, tracking my hours sleeping. And I'm trying to have a lot more grace with myself this year. And, you know, if I don't track my hours, how many hours I sleep each night, that is okay. All right, so here is January. So kind of how I use it each month is I have this page right here that I use to track gratitude. And then I have a habit tracker. And um, these are like a half page, mini half page little habit trackers. And so um, on the front side, I have used their habit trackers. And then on the back, this is actually a printable that I sell in my Etsy shop. And I will put a special little discount code on the screen here for you guys to get this printable for 50% off for a limited time. So I'll put those details on the screen here. And it's a really awesome printable. It comes with every calendar option you could ever imagine. And so it's perfect for making habit trackers. And it also comes with different planner page ideas like gratitude. So these came from it. And habit tracker came from that printable too. So then um, this is like my favorite part of <laughs> this planner. I use it strictly functional but I use it a ton. And so this is where I put all of my events for each month. 
the weeklies have been really fun for me to set up and um, so on this side I put my activities for each week up here I do write out what we eat for dinner to kind of keep track of that and then I this is originally supposed to say to buy but I put a label over it each week and put to do so I use it for my to-do list I use one of these boxes for my creative faith to do's and then one for errands or during kind of the quarantine time I was using it to write out a memory verse a memory bible verse um, so it's neat how you can just cover up the la labels that it gives and use them to create your own section and then down here I'll often put an encouraging quote and so I have just had so much fun decorating the weekly spreads each week. It's kind of nice because it's less work than a bullet journal in some ways as I'm not like setting up the layout each week, but it is more work than I thought to like arrange stickers. <laughs> you wouldn't think that that would be that complicated, but um, for some reason for me, it kind of is. And um, so I was got married in February, so it has been a really full year so far. And so a lot of wedding things happening in January. This is a really fun plan with me that I did with my friend Sarah of Creating with Sarah. And so I'll link this YouTube video in the description box below as well as Sarah's YouTube video and so we sent each other supplies and used those supplies to set up for the week which was really really fun to do so all of these beautiful things that Sarah sent me really cute stickers and a really fun gelato that I used to decorate the top and bottom this is really pretty Use some faith stickers and this is a sticky note actually and then this I ended up having to white out the whole thing <laughs> and put a sticky note on top so I used one of these sticky notes so sticky notes are great to use in planning I use them all the time so now we're in February here is our wedding month really full month and Sarah also sent me these a little prayer list notes and so I um, would use them sometime to track out um, my prayers for the month. So again a really full month of February lots of events happening. My wedding and my birthday and Valentine's Day getting adjusted to marry life, married life. This is my birthday week. I love how this week turned out. I use this little cake and celebrate. And so this is a really fun spread. I loved this one, really bright in the middle of dreary winter. This one we went to the beach and so I used a lot of the digital detox sticker book to kind of encourage myself to relax and rest. The end of the month, beginning of the next month is always a really crazy time with extra to-do lists because I have to pay the credit card and rent and utilities and cell phone bill and things like that. So the end of the month is often much longer than the rest. So now we're into March. This is really fun. I used washi tape on the background with that habit tracker bullet journal planner printable from my shop. So then March started off full and then the coronavirus hit and you can see the calendar visually got blanker and blanker. <laughs> and this was a really pretty week. Um, this month I kind of at the beginning of March planned and put out my stickers for the month at the beginning and so that was kind of something fun and different to just sit down at once and decorate for the month of March. I love this spread with all the pretty flowers. Floral stickers and washi tape and printables are definitely my favorite. This is a really fun St. Patrick's Day spread with all of the gold. Used some washi tape. 
I love using washi tape. This was something kind of different. I added some like for fun. This is kind of right when the coronavirus happened. I started the adding these for fun tasks like go for a walk, work in my coloring book, take a bubble bath, bake cookies, read outside. And so I did that for a couple weeks. And then here you say I started using this Aaron section for memory verse because I wasn't going to as many places. I loved this setup. Um, on this side, this is one of my printables from my Choose Joy devotion journal. So it's a joy journal printable. And this is one of the images that came with it. God's joy is my strength, which is really something necessary to think about and focus on for April. And so I'll link that printable in the description box below. So April looks pretty sparse and all of these events, well not Good Friday, Good Friday didn't get canceled but our church service did. So all these events got canceled. This is one of my very favorite spreads, um, weekly spreads. I used my Seasons of Prayer printable, which I will link in the description box below for you guys. And I shrunk them down and I just think it looks so pretty. I love, love, love how this turned out. So I used the Seasons of Prayer spring printable with a lot of the homebody stickers. Let's stay home. Very less, rise and shine. And so here I added those other for fun activities in my planner spread because not a lot was happening, but I still wanted to have something in my planner. So I'm using the memory verse section now instead of errands. This was Easter. Fun little plant, purple plant growth florals spring had started our memory verses and then this is a really cool printable that i made um it is still available it is my quarantine journal printable and you get seven quarantine girls that are wearing masks and their shirts say warrior so it comes in a ton of different skin tones and hair styles and things like that and I made all of these little virus images and it comes with over tw excuse me 20 uh, spread quarantine journal spread ideas for you guys um, Etsy took it out of my Etsy shop <laughs> um, but you guys can always email me hillary at creativefaithco.com two L's in Hillary, H-I-L-L-A-R-Y. If you guys want it, it's only $3, which is a huge steal for the printable size. Now we're into May. I use the little viruses to set up for May as well. Totally blank monthly spread much only stayed home. <laughs> this was a really fun spread to do. I used a crepe paper kit from a company called Peachy Cheap and I will link the Peachy Cheap website in the description box below. They have new um, kind of, I call them kits, but new things every day that are severely discounted. So this is a crepe paper kit called Magical Forest. So this is scrapbook paper and die cuts, and I used some stickers from them as well. And so I just think it looks super cute. I loved how this week turned out. Next, these stickers are from my friend Create with Mandy. I will link her Etsy shop in the description box below. If you use the code Hillary20, you get a 20% off discount in her shop, which is awesome. And so I loved using these this rainbow set. And then I also used a ton of the Planner Society stickers that I got at the West Coast Planners candy shop conference in September and I've been hoarding and saving them I decided I need to use them and I love 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 how this turned out here's a fun one where I use the squad girls this one I use more of the planner society printables and or planner society kit and I just think it looks so stunning 
And then next we have June. This was a plan with me that I did um, with my friend Creating with Sarah on IGTV. And I have that video on my IGTV. And so I'll link this video in the description box below so you guys can watch and see how I set this up. Um, so we both use the Squad Girls. And um, to set up for the first week in June. So it's fun to use the same sticker book and um, the same planner style and set up two totally different spreads. And then this uh, divider for the month of June came without anything on it and I added this printable from my Dancing Leaves printable set. So it says, changes in the air, God sits with me in the newness because he really cares. And I will link the Dancing Leaves printable in the description box below. And so here is the first week of June. Love how that turned out. And this was the Black Lives Matter planner spread planner challenge and so we're supposed to only use black and white stickers and then I also use this sticker from Heart by CC that says Hope Dealer and I will link Heart by CC on her shop online in the description box below and then I use some more of Create with Mandy stickers these are really cute plants And then this week I used some more of the Digital Detox and the Wellness sticker book to decorate the last week in June. And then this is a divider that I created using a cutting mat from the Dollar Tree and I just cut it down and used a regular hole punch and scissors to punch it. And I added these, these are sticky, uh, pen loops that I got on Amazon and I will link them in the description box below. I love using them. I have them in other planners as well and so they're a really fun fun little I don't know tool I guess and so I can slip my pen in here and it's awesome because it's not attached. A lot of people add a pen loop to the back cover but then I think well what if someday I wanted to switch and use this as the front cover and I couldn't because there's a pen loop on it. So this is a great solution. And then these are Avery removable tabs. I will link these on Amazon below and they are one of my favorite planning tools and resources. And so um, I have one up here on the little tab section for the divider. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some of the months from in here and I had pulled out, I left the full calendars but I had full, pulled out the inside pages. And so what I'm gonna do is um, now add those back in and take out some of the first part of the year just so I have a little bit more room because you can see how it is, you know, it got kind of chunky throughout the throughout the year so far. I cannot believe we are halfway through the year. And then also at the back I have 2020 things that I got or 2021, not 2020. I need to fix this. 2021 that got rescheduled back here. And then I have this little pocket that I use to hold random things like more of my little these are again from that bullet journal planner printable and then I just have some extra paper in the back to take notes or do whatever I need so that is my mid-year happy planner flip through I love watching happy planner flip throughs and so I hope you guys loved watching this one be sure to check out all the links in the description box below definitely be sure to head to my Etsy shop use that code I'll put it one more time here on the screen for you to get my habit tracker planner bullet journal printable for 50% off for a limited time 
So definitely check that out. I so appreciate it every time you guys um, support the Creative Faith Etsy shop. So I hope this gave you guys some spread ideas and just enjoyed seeing how I have been using this awesome planner. And I will be using this through the rest of the year. I love finishing notebooks, journals, planners. And so I definitely want the whole year to be together. And so I look forward to using this from July to December. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. I don't want miss you guys to miss out on any creative faith videos and I will see you next time. Bye!